Next, let us take a look at a two-dimensional array. So here I have a class called example 2 dim array. Now arrays need not be one dimension like this. That is, you have like one array of numbers. It can be two-dimensional. What does it mean by two-dimensional? Two-dimensional arrays are a kind of a matrix. So here you have like columns, column 0, column 1, column 2, and then rows, that is column row 0, row 1, row 2, and row 3. Two-dimensional arrays, you can label them. That is here you have like a two-dim array of 0, 0, that is the 0 row and 0 column. This box is 0 row first column and 0 row second column. Here it is row 1 and 0 column, row 1 and 1 column. And in these boxes you can assign numbers and this would become a two-dimensional array. So how do you go about declaring a two-dimensional array and assign values? You can declare a two-dimensional array like this. Int two square brackets like an array name to dim and then new int of how many rows do you want and how many columns you want. Here you can see that I want four rows and three columns. So what I did is I named the array as two dime and I said four rows and three columns. Four rows, three columns. Now to assign data to this array, I can assign it like this. So here you can see that I am assigning the second row first column as the number 10. So the second row first column will be assigned the value 10. So like this I can assign data to any of these boxes. I can also use two for loops to assign data automatically like this. So here you can see that I have a loop within a loop. I have a for int i equal to 0, i less than 4, and then i plus plus, and inside this I have like for int j equal to 0, j less than 3, j plus plus. And now I am going to say, so here I am saying like two dimensional of i comma j is equal to temp, and the temp value, initial value is 10, and then I am incrementing the temp value, that is temp plus equal to 10, that is temp equal to temp plus 10. So how this works is, the very first time i will be 0 and then j will be 0. So two dimensional of 0 comma 0 will be 10. Then the temp value will incre increment by 10, that is temp will be 20. It will go here and first it will go into the internal row. That is i will still be 0 but j will increment by 1 so it will be 1. So 0 comma 1 will be 20. So you will have data like this. So 0, 0, will be 10, 0, 1 will be 20, this is the i and this is the j value and here it will be like i value will be 0, next loop j value will be 2 and then the temp would have incremented to 30. So once j reaches 2 and then it increments to 3, it will come out of this loop, it will go back to this for loop and i value will now be 1. So now it will once again come back it will come back to this j and j will start at 0 because now i is 1 and there will be a fresh j loop. So here it will be like two dimensional of 1 comma 0 and that will be like the temp value. So it will take the latest temp value. So once that entire loop is done, it will fill up these boxes with these numbers. Suppose you want to see the printout, you can always redo this. And here, instead of assigning data, let us print it out. So I'm going to print out the two dimensional of i comma j, the two dim of i and j, what we declared here. So if you run this, you can see that all the numbers are printed from 10 to 120. 10 to 120. Of course, you may feel like I don't want everything to be printed in one line. Can we print it like a matrix? Yes, you can. Remember the print line will always print in a new line, but you can use the print statement. The print statement will print in the same line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say system.out.print, print print the number, but then the print statement will keep printing without creating a new line. So every time J loop ends, I want to print a new line. 
So I'll print an empty line like this, system route dot print line, and then I just leave it. So now let's run this. So here you can see that it has printed like a matrix, just like what we have drawn. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. So this did not print in a new line. It printed the two dimensional of 0, 0, then the space, that is 10, and then the next time 0 and 1, and then space. But once the J got over, before going back to I, it printed a new line. So it came here, and then it printed started printing 40, 50, and 60.